Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to add an FPV camera and a video transmitter to your Sima X5C using a completely plug and play solution. This requires no soldering or any additional parts other than what came with the camera. First thing that you're going to need, of course, is a Sima X5C. I got my Sima off of eBay for about $50, and the Sima is a great little quadcopter to learn on. Very uh, beginner friendly. It's very crashable. It survived many crashes without a dent. And uh, just a very enjoyable quad to fly, especially for a beginner. Uh, flies great indoors. Comes with uh, prop guards if you want to use them. I choose not to use them on mine. Uh, just to note, apparently Sima just came out with an FPV version of the X5C. I just read about it on their website the other day. The only thing is the FPV version of the FX5C can only stream video to an app running on an Android or an iOS phone. You can't stream it to um, goggles, like Fat Shark goggles or whatnot. So that's why I kind of wanted to um, get something going that I could use with my uh, existing Fat Shark compatible goggle system that I got going here. So the other thing that you're going to need is the Spectrum VA1100 camera slash video transmitter. It's all one package. It includes the camera, video transmitter, and a little antenna, cloverleaf antenna on there. So uh, not a little, not bad for uh, about $100. So um, I got mine online on Amazon.com. Um, books. There you go. Now it's worth noting that the camera that I received from Amazon.com is slightly different than the camera that's in the photograph on Amazon.com. And it actually is actually is different than the photograph on Spectrum's website. The camera that they show on Amazon and Spectrum's website has a black and white wire connecting to or with a I don't even know what kind of connector that is. Strange little connector on there. That is a little different than the one I received. One I received has a black and red wire, and it has a, I believe this is a Molex Pico Blade two pin connector. I actually looked it up uh, and verified that uh, it is a Pico Blade connector. You can get them in uh, two pin, three pin, four pin, so on and so forth. Um, so again, two pin Pico Blade connector on the version of the camera that I got. It's also worth noting that the VA1100 Spectrum camera is labeled as a Fat Shark when you actually open it up and look at the documentation. So, not sure if it's a Fat Shark manufactured camera rebranded by Spectrum, but I found it interesting is uh, the documentation on the Spectrum web website does not mention anything about Fat Shark. The only place you see the Fat Shark logo is on the documentation that comes in the box of the VA1100. The camera I received also came with this Y power cable. As you can see, I've already taped it to my Sima here, but it has uh, two, um, I guess, female ends on one, on these two sides, and then it, connect, it comes to this uh, male connector on this side. Um, this is used, according to the documentation, you can use this to connect your, or to power your camera and a receiver board from the same one cell battery, um, which is kind of what we're going to do. We're just going to use the cable slightly differently than they have, than they're showing in the documentation. So the first thing that you want to do is look at the stock Sima camera cable and see how it's plugged into the outlet on the quad. There are three wires in this plug. Pay attention to the order of the wires, specifically the red and black. The red wire is the positive voltage and is located on the front of my Sima. I'm assuming they're all the same, but I'm not sure. And then there is a black wire, which is in the middle, and a yellow wire that's toward the rear of the Sima. Again, make sure you remember the order of those cables because we're going to want to plug the camera in. Uh, we want to match up the red wire on the camera cable to where the red wire would plug in normally uh, from the stock Sima camera. So go ahead and 
carefully remove the plug from the stock Sima camera and then go ahead and open up the battery door and then remove the battery door. So you can do this by just kind of twisting and it'll just pop right off. Um, if you really want to, you can take the screws out here and take the camera off and then put the door back on. But I fly without the battery door. It saves a little weight and I've never had any problems with the battery coming out. The power connector and cable for the battery kind of holds itself in place there. So this is probably the most important part of putting this camera on the SIMA. So again, you want to make sure you remember the order of the wires as they plug in. So if you remember, our red wire was toward the front of the SIMA and the black wire was in the middle. So you can just stick that there to verify if you need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Y power cable that came with the Spectrum camera. And we're going to orient the colors uh, of the power cable so they were the, they're basically the same as the cable from the stock Sima camera. Notice there's only two wires though on this connector whereas there's three pins down there. Again, we want to do the red wire toward the front, black wire in the middle, and then the pin that's toward the back of the SIMA is not going to have anything connected. So if you're careful, you can actually just plug into the two pins that are toward the front of the SIMA, at least on my SIMA that I have. And I'm going to pause this because I can't really plug the cable in and hold at the same time. So I've plugged in the cable, or the Y power cable that came with the camera, into the SIMA outlet where the stock battery would normally plug into. And you can see I have a little gap toward the back of the SIMA, and there's a pin in there that has nothing connected to it. Now on the other side of the Y cable, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power connector for the Spectrum FPV camera. Now again, I just want to re-stress this point that you need to plug this cable in correctly. I'm not really sure what would happen if you plugged the positive power lead on the SIMA to the negative lead on the camera. Uh, it might do nothing. It, it also may instantly destroy the hardware. I'm not sure. So um, please don't try it. If you do it and you blow your thing up, uh, it's not my fault because I warned you. Okay, now we're ready to power up the SIMA. Everything's plugged in. I'm just going to turn it around here and I'm going to hit the power switch. And the lights will flash. Uh, looks like we have power to the camera. We've got some red LEDs on the back there. And then if I go over to my Fat Shark compatible goggles here, you can see that I have a video. I got my little FPV going on my SIMA. And um, I've actually flown it around my basement here. And it's uh, it's actually pretty pretty good, you know. Uh, it's not the best image quality for sure, but um, it's definitely good enough to fly around your house with. And I'm sure it would actually be better uh, during the day upstairs where there's a lot of natural light and whatnot. So, so there you guys go. I've shown you how to add a FPV camera and video transmitter to your SIMA X5C, a completely plug and play solution. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.